information for you at the end of this particular news. So please stay tuned and don't go away. Now to the news. Nigerians react to U.S. government indictment of chairman of Air Peace on fraud charges. Mixed reactions continue to trail the Nigerian laundry and bank fraud allegations leveled against the chairman of Air Peace by the U.S. Justice Department in Atlanta, Georgia. But from his own particular words, he says, I can confirm to you that all allegations are false and are are in no way in line with my character as a person and as a businessman whose only aim has been to build Nigeria and improve the well-being of Nigerians. So from what he says, you know, until proven guilty, let's believe him. You know, let's pray for him. Because this is a, an icon. This is a man that um, single-handedly, you know, lift people from South Africa from danger, away from danger. So for me, and for now, I don't have much to say because the case is still in court. And we don't even know if he did it or not. So don't let, don't, um, don't let us speculate. Let us wait and see where the case is heading. You know, we'll be bringing you more news uh, about this particular case as they unfold. You know, but for me, I think um, Nigerian government should not throw him under the bus. You know, following all what he has done or have done for Nigerians, both in South Africa and in Nigeria all around the world so i think nigerian government too should set up a committee and start investigating themselves and try to find out the truth if really is involved or not so what do you think about what he says kindly put your comment in the comment box and please be respectful and um yes don't forget we said we have a bonus information for you please kindly subscribe to our channel don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our channel now to the bonus informations that we have for you this particular bonus is for you if you want to travel to the US to live and work there, this particular information is for you. If you are a professional, if you have more than BSc degree, this particular information we are about to give you is for you. So let us give you a little background on what we want to say or tell you. You know, there are several things to consider you know there are several things to consider when you want to travel many things where to stay how to get a job but in this particular case you know if you if you're a professional and you have more than bsc this is good news for you the program is called national interest waiver national interest waiver what is national interest waiver the immigration act of 1990 states that the standard for a national interest waiver under the eb2 categories are specifically above that necessary to prove national benefits Other than that, the law does not indicate specifically what counts for national interests. So, USUIS, USCIS believe it's appropriate to leave the application of this test as flexible as possible. The burden of proof will rest 
with a foreign national to establish that exemption from or waiver of the job offer will be in the interest or the national interest of the country. So each case will be judged on its own merits. So we have found that the range of cases and decisions indicates that the government requires a fairly direct benefit to the community at large before it will agree that a job is in the national interest. So factors that have been considered in successful cases include number one, the foreign person admission will improve the US economy. Number two, that the foreign person's admission will improve wages and working conditions of the US workers. Number three, the foreign person's admission will provide more affordable housing for young, aged, or poor U.S. residents. Number four, the foreign person's admission will improve the U.S. environment and lead to more productive use of the national resources. Number five, the foreign person's admission is requested by an interested U.S. government agencies. So these are the factors that you need to facilitate this particular program if you want to apply. So they call it NIW and simply means National Interest Waiver. So it is for you because they have requirements. So this particular um this particular case is for you if one you you the petitioner have advanced degree advanced degree from master's degree to phd if you have it two that you can claim exceptional abilities you can even file this particular program from Nigeria from anywhere in the world. Many people don't know. You can apply for it from anywhere in the world. And once you are approved, you'll be given a green card, a permanent residence to be able to work and to be able to live in the US. So it is a good program because it's a good program that you don't even need to look for a job before you can qualify. You don't really need, need um, a job before you can qualify. That is why they call it National Interest Waiver. They are waiving away the job aspect that you have to uh, have a job before you can apply under this particular program you can apply as long as you have an advanced degree you can apply as long as you are a professional you can apply as long as you can claim exceptional abilities that the u.s will benefit from so we'll be talking more about this so make sure you always tune in to this particular channel to get more updates on this particular program because we'll tell you how to apply we'll tell you where to go we'll tell you what to do we'll tell you the form to apply the, the, the form the form to really apply with We'll tell you everything, but we can't finish it today. So we'll take it one after the other. So I believe 
and you can go on google you can you can research it yourself it is called national interest waiver it is a program that is good it is a program that that has helped many life that 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 has built many home so you don't have anything to lose if you know you are qualified to apply thank you